Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can perform sky segmentation using grounded SAM2 model. In computer vision, segmentation means detecting an object of interest or a region of interest at pixel level. Let's say you want to detect a car in an image. So if you use the segmentation model, then it will be able to detect each pixel of the car in the image. Similarly, if we are talking about sky segmentation, we will perform pixel level detection in the input image. So for example, in this image, you can see that we have a sky, blue colored sky. And then we have uh, certain objects in the foreground. For example, there is a house, there is a car, a tree and a few buildings. So once we perform a sky segmentation, we'll be able to detect or segment out this entire sky in the background. And hence the output image will appear like this. So you can see the entire sky has been segmented and this white color basically represents the segmented region. And like I said before, we will be using grounded SAM2 model. SAM basically means segment anything model and it has been developed by Meta or Facebook and grounded SAM2 means the user will be able to specify the object or the region that he wants to segment using SAM2 model. This particular feature is not available out of the box in SAM2 or SAM models. So therefore we are going to use this modified model called grounded SAM2 that lets the user specify the object of interest in the form of a text prompt and the model is able to you know segment out or detect that object. So the first step is to install this library. Okay. And before you start running this code, let me tell you that you have to make sure uh, your GPU is enabled. So if you're using Colab, you can get free GPU usage. So simply connect to your GPU runtime. And once this is connected, you can install the library. Now let's run this cell to install auto digital grounded SAM2 library. This library will help us in using grounded SAM2 model. Next, we will import some necessary modules. And over here, I'm loading one image that has an open sky as its background. Okay, so this is the input image that I will be using. And here you can see that we have a cloudy sky. Let's see how our model performs sky segmentation on this image. Next, we have to specify the prompt for the object that we want to segment or the region that we want to segment. So here, since we want to segment sky, you can specify uh, your prompt over here. This is the prompt, okay? And this particular thing is nothing but a label for your uh, prompt. So you don't have to use any complex prompt here. Specify your object or region in one or two words. That's enough. So when you run this cell for the first time, it will import a few models. Next, with the help of this predict function, we can easily perform segmentation. Let me show you what is inside this output. So here uh, we have two components. The first component is basically the set of coordinates of the segmented region. 
and the second component that is mask contains a boolean array and the dimensions of this array is similar to that of the input image so wherever you find true in this array that particular pixel will be segmented out as sky by the model and wherever it is false that region or that pixel has not been segmented as sky and if we try to plot this particular mask you will be able to see the segmented region and the non-segmented region and this is what I've done over here in the next cell so you can take out the mask like this and then you can use matplotlib to display the image so here you can see all the black region is basically the non-segmented region and the white region is the segmented region that the model thinks is the sky and if we compare it with the input image it seems to be quite accurate next over here uh, I'm converting my mask from boolean data type to integer data type and this is required because I'm planning to replace the actual sky in the input image with another sky or another background therefore I am first converting it into an integer array and then I am making sure that all the non-zero values are 255 so 255 means white color and this is how the output mask image will look like next I will also perform some dilation on my mask image in dilation the white region basically is expanded a little bit this is an optional step you can ignore it if your output is good but if you think that your output needs a little bit more segmentation you can perform dilation it will basically increase the area of the white region a little bit okay I forgot running this cell so I'll run the cell first and then I will run dilation and similarly you can display the dilation mask dilated mask like this And now we will see how we can replace the original sky in the input image with a different background. So this is the function that I will be using for sky replacement. I will put a link to this notebook in the description section so you can find the entire code from that link. So simply run this cell. So this function basically takes three inputs the input image or the foreground image the background image and the mask image so the mask image is basically the mask of the sky that we have already extracted with the help of grounded sam2 model and the input image will be used as it is and the background image is basically the background that you want to replace the original sky with okay and this is how we can pass all the three parameters this is the path of the input image this is the path of the background image and this is our mask image and now I will display both the input image and the final output image. So there you go. This is our input image on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have the output image with a new sky or new background. So this is how you can perform sky segmentation in any image. And instead of a static background, you can also replace the background or replace the sky with 
animated background or a video as well and that's it from my side thank you for watching